In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this render image in less than 4 minutes. I have used a bounce spline to create this mesh. In the final render scene, it looks as if there are a lot of separate meshes, but in reality, there's only one. Let's create a teapot. If you don't see that in the menu, please activate an add-on called Extra Objects. Let's create a bounce spline. If you don't see that, please activate the Extra Objects add-on. Please change the settings any way you like to create the best looking result. Shift Z to wireframe view. We can create bounce splines from any shapes of the meshes, meaning its potential is limitless. We can create very interesting looking meshes that might wonder the viewers how we created them in the first place. It can also create an illusion of an artist spending a great amount of time to create such a complex work. But in reality, we're spending not even a minute to create such a great looking abstract art mesh, and that's the power of Blender. I'll go back to the original mesh, and show you the material details. Here are the sky texture settings. I have used cycles with 16 samples to save time. Please use at least 128 samples for the best looking render result. I didn't use composite nodes for the final render. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.